Thanks for watching. I'm Christina Morrison, joined with Mark Lind, the show director for the Metroid Spring Show. Mark, I can't believe we are already talking about Metroid Spring 2020. I have heard that 25% of the 160 plus Metroid Spring exhibitors are new companies. What do you think that uh, brought on this interest in Metroid Spring? So the industry has gone through a lot of changes, a lot of ups and downs, but it shows that this industry is still very strong. There's a lot of companies who are coming back in maybe that were out of it and coming with new products and even form new companies because they had taken a beating during the, the downtime of the Affordable Care Act changes but they know that there's a lot of value and there's a lot of need for this product. So it's the excitement of knowing that this industry is still strong and it's still something that is a, a needed item, whether it's you know something for the, the bed or helping people get out of bed, it's just a needed product and people are very passionate and they haven't lost that passion just because the industry's gotten tough. So it's given them an opportunity to make new products. So Metroid Spring is still a great venue and a great opportunity for those products to be showcased and brought into the show. And you, and talking a little bit more about those new companies, what are some of the other product categories that are really focused in that area? So retail is very strong right now. We find it a little uptick. So not just having reimbursements, but people are also buying items that do get reimbursed and then have an add-on item to those. Also, CBD is a huge thing that's going on in the industry and in, in the world itself. It's, it's a product that is finding its way and it's getting stronger, it's getting more backing, it's getting more research and we're fortunate at Metroid being a medical show that people are bringing in product that's been well tested to the best capability that's out there and it's product that has is, is got a good name behind it and it's got a good standing and it's been in the industry for a while, not just in Metroid per se but in healthcare so it's, it's that's one of the biggest ones we're finding. Um, we're also looking to bring in more security companies because as we get older, people are staying at home. But you know, this industry helps people stay at home. And if you're in California and your mom and dad are still in New York, it, the security systems and Google Home and those kind of things. So we're really pushing those. But those are the products that we're looking to bring in and have in the show. Oh yes, a lot of new solutions. Now, Metroid Spring is March 3rd through the 5th, 2020 this year. What was behind, it's a little bit earlier, what was behind that scheduling decision? So we've been bottled up and, and it's just again, as the time frame comes for the new competitive bid decision, it has people who are getting ready to, they know where their bid was, gives them an opportunity a little bit sooner to be ready for that as that kicks in. Um, the decisions are coming out in September. So having Metroid Spring a little bit earlier kind of gives the people who are going to be in that industry again kind of a first look to see what they can start putting back into their business and add those items back in. Makes sense. So um, Metroid Spring is also a little bit more of a cozier show than Metroid in Atlanta. But what are some of the benefits for a smaller size show like Metroid Spring? Absolutely. So it's a, it's more intimate. It gives people an opportunity who maybe are so busy to kind of slow down and step back and talk to providers and talk to exhibitors so they can kind of come and be a little more cohesive as opposed to running in it's the volumes a lot a little bit less but it, it's just an intimate feeling it's you know a lot of west coast companies that maybe don't make the trip over to atlanta for the the main show it gives them an opportunity and, and actually an opportunity that they're very focused conversations and they're sitting with these people that maybe they don't have exposure to normally because they don't make the trip to, to Metroid in, in the fall. Register today and learn more at MetroidSpring.com.